Washington and its allies challenged North Korea at the United Nations over claims that Pyongyang is breaching arms control measure by supplying weapons to Russia to use in its war in Ukraine. Washington's deputy envoy to to the UN hit out at what he said were unlawful arms transfers from North Korea to Russia. We condemn in the strongest possible terms those unlawful transfers which have significantly contributed to Russia's ability to conduct its war against Ukraine. The transfer of ballistic missiles along with munitions and related materiel from the DPRK to Russia violates multiple Security Council resolutions. Washington was joined by allies France and Britain in its condemnation of what it says are sanctions busting arms shipment from North Korea to Russia. A representative of Conflict Armament Research said that his organization has detailed the components of missiles used against Ukraine and said that the evidence shows that they originated in North Korea. Carr documented the missile's rocket motor, its tail section, almost 300 internal components manufactured by 26 companies from eight countries and territories. Based on several unique features observed during the documentation, Carr determined that this missile was either a KN-23 or KN-24 manufactured in the DPRK in 2023. On the other hand, Russia's UN ambassador has denied that Moscow had sought to undermine sanctions and oppose the presence of Ukraine and the European Union at the meeting. Ties between Moscow and Pyongyang have grown rapidly in recent years with the North Korean leader Kim Jong-un hosting Russian President Vladimir Putin earlier this month and sig signaling a mutual defense agreement. Tensions are high on the peninsula, with South Korea are alarmed at Moscow's ties with Pyongyang and the North responding to balloons carrying pro-Seoul propaganda, with its own balloons carrying trash southward. Wood said China could do more to prevent growing military ties between Russia and North Korea, and that drew a rebuke from Beijing's UN ambassador. Listen in. Just now, the U.S. representative in a statement again attacked and made accusations against China's position and role on the peninsula issue. China strongly rejects this and absolutely does not accept it. The current situation around the Korean peninsula continues to be tense. How did this come about? The U.S. should reflect deeply, especially on its own actions, instead of blaming others and shirking its own responsibility as it habitually does. Washington has long claimed that Russia is using up munitions and losing heavy equipment in Ukraine, forcing the Kremlin to turn to its small pool of allies, including North Korea, for support. North Korea's UN ambassador Kim Song told the Security Council that there was no reason whatever to be concerned.